Howdy y'all, my name is Jared and I'm from Austin, Texas. And I was lucky enough to be a part of the AMD test drive. What that means is I was sponsored by AMD to receive a free desktop uh, with the contention that I post a video review of the uh, AMD APU chipset. So first off, a little about me, I'm a software engineer. I'm a Longhorn, I'm a long time computer slash Linux geek. Um, and I'm a bit of a gamer as well. And by gaming, I really mean playing TF2. So, as you can see, I already built the desktop because uh, as soon as I got it in the mail, I wanted to put it together from day one. Um, there's already plenty of unboxing videos out there and plenty of system build videos, so I'm just going to give you some highlights, right? So let's get to my mock unboxing since I've already put the desktop together. They provided a pretty sweet motherboard. I got the ASRock um, FM2885X Extreme 4, which is not the best for overclocking, but it's still a pretty solid motherboard and I really enjoy it a lot. Um, I got a DVD-ROM, which I already put in the computer, and I got a 60GB uh, SSD. Um, I also got some AMD Radeon memory, which uh, I was like, pretty excited about this because it's pretty high performance memory and I'm really pleased with it so far. I got a Fractal Design CPU. Um, it's a 650 watt power supply. Um, and so far so good. And then I got the um, uh, the Fractal Design MIDI Arc 2 case, which I cannot say enough good things about this case. I'm just blown away by how awesome it is. Um, I'll get into a few of the highlights of how cool this case is later. And then the star of the show, which was in this box, is a uh, a AMD APU A10 6800K, so that's the uh, Black Edition, which is unlockable. You can overclock it very easily. You know, this CPU is actually the uh, codename Richland, uh, which is not wildly different than the uh, previous Trinity chips. Uh, and I've actually built a Trinity desktop last year, so I kind of knew what to expect going into this. So the system build went off without a hitch for me. I do know a few other test drivers uh, did have a few problems, um, but I can't really get over how awesome this case is. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's loaded with fan filters. First I'll show you the, uh, the two in the front. Uh, you can add another fan here, and this filter is removable and presumably uh, cleanable. And then on the top, this giant thing is actually a filter as well. I really enjoy the design. Um, and underneath the power supply is also a removable filter. It has uh, really nice hard drive racks that come in and out very easily. Um, as you can see, I mounted my SSD on one instead of mounting it on the back like uh, normal. I haven't really figured out the cable management yet. Shh. So uh, initially they shipped the test drive kits without a uh, system cooler. Uh, so I was lucky enough I had one sitting around that actually fit the socket and that's working out pretty well for me. It's a little large, but eh. now I've had several cases in the past that had built in fan filters but they still managed to get dusty in there somehow. So my thought on that is that maybe um, whenever you're blowing air out of the system through the exhaust like this fan right here, perhaps that's causing a little bit of suction and air and dust is coming in through all these various holes that are built throughout the case. So with this case, I'm doing a little bit of an experiment. I'm ordering some drop-in fan filters and I'm gonna take the exhaust filters turn them around so that they actually blow into the system and create kind of a positive pressure so that all the fans will be blowing in and the only air leaving the system will be out of all these random holes and crevices throughout the, the case. Uh, so my thought on that is that dust shouldn't be able to come in. Uh, we'll see how the experiment turns out. I'm doing my test drive a little differently than most others. 
I wanted to actually use the desktop as my main PC for the duration so that I got kind of a real life experience. I spent some time gaming, software developing, web designing, and just some other general use. And I'm actually going to edit this video on this computer uh, as well. Now that I've used this desktop for over a month, I'm going to share what I liked and didn't like about it. The 60 gigabyte hard drive. I think it would have been better to have a one terabyte rotating drive over the SSD because after I installed Windows 8 and a couple of games and uh, some development libraries, the drive was full, making it difficult to get any work done. I do have to say that Team Fortress 2 does load about five times faster than my old desktop, which was a Phenom processor uh, with an older SSD though. So that's really nice. The A10 6800K APU performance is great. For most desktop users, it can handle anything I throw at it. However, it's not good for high-end gaming. For example, on Team Fortress 2, I have to turn all the video settings down low to make it playable. Uh, even then, there's still a little bit of uh, rendering lag that's noticeable on occasion. I'll be sticking a uh, Radeon video card in there soon for that reason. Overall, I've been extremely pleased with this whole test drive. The A10 handles everything else I want to do on it, and I think that's why so many people use it for media center PCs, because it's the best bang you can get for the buck. Now that the test drive is coming to a close, I'm going to continue using this as my main desktop. I'm going to upgrade the GPU, add a higher capacity hard drive, and install a few more operating systems, but that's about it. As the AMD APUs progress, I'm definitely going to keep my eye on them. I'm very excited for this platform and the capabilities to come. The next round of APUs, codenamed Gaveri, is set to come out later this year, and they look awesome. The GPU and CPU have the ability to access shared memory space, and that should have a sizable performance boost for native applications that utilize the OpenCL framework. I want to give AMD a big thank you for providing the test drive units. And if you follow hashtag AMD test drive on Twitter, I'll provide updates on the system as I continue to work on it. Thank you for watching.